So using the power chisel, I'm going to show you two ways to do lettering. The lettering can, can either be recessed into the wood uh, using these V chisels, etc. Or they can be raised by removing the background of the lettering. So square lettering can look good. You can uh, put serifs on it if you want in the corners. Let's say I'm going to do it just straight like that. A clean corner is the most important thing. So you want to have a groove down the centre. You want it to look like this. You want a little triangle in the edge and the line down the centre and then you want to do the same elsewhere. So how you achieve that with this large chisel is you come in here and I come in at an angle and as I penetrate I watch this edge to make sure that it's flush with the bottom. Now I go down the centre and I do a shallow cut first and that becomes my guide. I go deeper and deeper, always pushing the centre of the V chisel into that groove so that there's a nice sharp line on the bottom. What you don't want is lots of lines on the bottom. And as you go deeper and pushing it into that centre, you can guide it to the left or right so that you focus on one side or the other as you need to till you get it nicely on the line. It's important to make sure that I'm still down in the centre of the groove, not coming up the side. I'm still pressing down into the centre, but now I'm focused on that side to get it nice and sharp along the line. So cutting straight cuts is quite simple. You get the, uh, the corners, you do a little triangle in the corners, you go down the centre and then you go deeper and bias it to the left or the right till you get it nice, nicely following the lines that you've drawn. Now let's do the letter O. The rounded uh, letters are more difficult to do because uh, it requires a bit more technique to prevent the wood splitting as, you, as, the, as the curve changes with the grain of the wood. I'm going to show you a tip on how to avoid that. Now I go down the centre and I do a shallow cut first and that becomes my guide. As I get to the centre I swap over and lean, lean it over to the side to get to that edge. As I'm going across the grain I can go quite deep and there's no problem there. But as I go around the corner, if I was to bite in hard on the left here, it could split the grain. To avoid that, what I do is I focus on the outside as I go around here, just for this quadrant. As I go around here, I focus on that side because then I'm pushing the grain down. On this side, I need to focus coming in that direction to pull the grain down. That way I'll get a nice clean edge on there and a clean edge there. Over here is the opposite. Here I need to come in this direction and here I need to go in that direction. The very dangerous spot of course is at the top here depending on the grain of the wood. I notice that the wood is the grain is coming up slightly there, so it's actually a bit easier coming from this side than the other side. As I get to the centre here, I swap over and lean it over to this side to get that edge. You'll notice that I'm actually holding the blade. The blade doesn't move, the, or it doesn't feel like it moves. The vibration just continues down through the blade. I always hold the blade. You don't want it jumping out as you do it. All right? So you pull, push it down with your thumb. So I want to get this smooth around here and I'm going to come around, I'm going to focus on the outside edge and follow that line as I go, staying away from the inside edge where it would chip.
Now here you'll see that I didn't push down hard enough into the centre and I ended up with a double groove in the centre. But I can easily fix that up by just pushing it into the centre and taking that out. Another technique that I like to do when doing signs is to raise the lettering. Simply run along the outside perimeter, staying to the right of the line so that you're mostly cutting away the outside edge. I start by doing shallow cuts first. The trick with the paring chisel is to have one side out of the wood and you don't want to bury this below the wood otherwise it will split. To raise the letters, you keep going around it with the deep V and then use the paring chisels to remove the material. And so you can then do a sign like that, very quickly remove the, the background material and leave your lettering quite high. You usually do it about half an inch of height. So there you go, two different techniques uh, for you to try when using the power chisel.